guys welcome back and are to the channel if you guys were here before and uh, you guys watched some videos on my 2018 Silverado you guys knew um, that I had something else coming for that um, we did the tires and we did um, the lift kit on the truck and I was uh, I had something on order um, that was gonna complete the look that I'm going for and um, th that has arrived and I did ended up installing it um, what I ended up purchasing was I ended up upgrading from the stock mirrors and I switched over to uh, the tow mirrors um, so I did install tow mirrors on the truck um, so what happened was I did film a video prior and when I went to edit the video I ended up losing some of the footage um, so with losing some of the footage uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pretty much do a, a summary recap of exactly um, what I did in that video the whole entire point to that video was to install aftermarket um, and tow mirrors and was to show you guys that uh, you guys could buy a cheaper set of mirrors um, like off eBay and you can make them function like OEM. Now there is other options that you guys have for replica mirrors. Um, one of the big name companies, um, you could get them from uh, Boost Auto Parts. Um, very good company, very high quality, exact um, OEM replica, if not better. Um, so that's a really good option, um, but this is kind of a cheaper option. I mean, you're almost like a quarter um, of the cost um, by doing it this way. And I know there is a lot of people that um, do want to do this upgrade, but they just they choose not to do it um, just because it does cost so much. And, uh, you know, they're pretty hesitant to go with the eBay mirrors um, due to the fact that, you know, they think there's they're shaking or they can't get the, the dual function um, in the tow mirrors. Um, like it would come from factory and now what I mean dual function. I mean on the front of um, the mirror um, With the the OEM mirrors you'll have um, a clearance light and you will also have a turn signal light now when you buy the eBay mirrors um, You won't have that um, You guys will have to alter the wiring and by altering the wiring what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to change The wiring in the actual mirror um, So I've written down some stuff behind me right now and we're gonna go over exactly what you need to do to make these mirrors function like um, OEM. All right guys, so I've written down a couple things right here. So inside um, the actual mirror, um, you have your mirror here like this, you know, your toe mirror uh, with your bottom piece of glass and you'll have your top piece of glass up here. Now to remove, you're gonna have to remove this piece of glass. So to remove this piece of glass here, um, if you're going to go with the eBay mirrors, um, what you're gonna have to do is you have to stick a small flathead screwdriver in there and there is clips. Uh, there's about eight of them all the way around on the inside. If you uh, tilt the glass up and you look in from the inside, um, you will be able to fit a flathead in there and you will be able to pop that glass off. Do be very careful due to the fact that um, if you do to apply too much pressure and you could run uh, the risk of uh, creasing this glass, if that happens to be the case, there are um, aftermarket, you know, eBay or other or other suppliers will um, will have this piece of glass um, for sale. If that if that ever does happen to you, um, so if that did happen to you, don't worry. Um, you guys can just replace the glass. Your whole mirror is not ruined. So once you remove this glass inside um, the mirror, um, there's going to be a little zip tie. Um, close to the inside of the mirror here and it's gonna have a couple wires through it and they're gonna be um, included in a usually a blue small zip tie and two of those wires that are gonna be in there are blue and then an orange and yellow wire um, it's an orange wire um, with a yellow line through it and uh, what you guys are gonna need to do is you're gonna need to cut both of these wires in half now let's jump over to uh, things that you're going to need um, to basically make these mirrors function like OEM. So um, you're going to need, per mirror, you're going to need two 470 ohm resistors um, and a one amp diode. Now you can get this, um, you know, your local electronic shop. You could probably order them off eBay, Amazon. I got them somewhere local to me called New Tech Electronics. Um, so it, it worked out okay for me. Um, you know, Radio Shack, stuff like that. Um, you can try and source it through them. Um, if not, quick Google search and uh, you'll probably find somewhere local to you that will supply this stuff. Um, so basically what you're going to do is, I'm gonna make a little triangle here. So you're going to take your two resistors, 
um, right here. So this is a 470 amp ohm, res a 470 ohm resistor, and this is a 470 ohm resistor, and you're going to twist them at the top there and then connect them. It would be good. Um, um, you guys are going to need some some sort of uh, connectors or she uh, or, uh, heat shrink on hand um, to make this easier for you guys and to seal it all up and make it watertight. Um, but back to what we're doing here, you're going to have the 470 ohm, 470 ohm, and then on the one end here, you're going to put the one amp diode. Now, it's going to be very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to cut this blue wire and you're going to attach it um, to the top um, of the bridge here and you're going to attach the other blue wire at the bottom. So blue is going to go uh, you're going to cut the blue and then one end of the blue is going to go there, one end of the blue is going to go there, and then you're going to have a complete circuit. On this side, you're going to um, attach the orange and the yellow right here. Um, so yes, you did cut it, um, but basically on the one end, all you're doing is um, splicing into it. And uh, once you guys have done this, um, you wrap it all up with heat shrink, electrical tape it all, make it uh, nice and neat, and then you can uh, fold it back in place um, behind this mirror and then install the glass. So what this is going to do is it's going to run power and um, it's going to run power constantly to the front um, of the mirror and it's going to give you that uh, the clearance lamp and then when you turn on the turn signal um, it is going to flash. Um, everything else is going to work. The glass signal is going to work um, as well. Um, so that's everything you need to do to make it function like an OEM mirror. Now, if you guys are watching this and you guys are doing this on a 14 to 18 Silverado Sierra, um, you're going to have to do some extra steps. Um, if you guys um, don't have um, the tow mirrors or your truck's not wired for tow mirrors um, from the factory, this is, uh, this is where it gets tricky. Um, so now I've done this on previous body, sty body styles and what I did was um, for the, the wires and the lighting, um, I was able to tap in either inside the door um, where you have your door harness, I was able to tap in inside there. Um, on other body styles um, on the previous years of trucks or I was able to uh, just happen simply um, right underneath the hood um, on the headlight housing. Um, so what it ended up happening here um, on my truck, my truck uh, does not have the wiring from factory even to the door pin to the door harness so you're not able to um, so you're not able to run power for the turn signals for the clearance lights um, from there whatsoever. Um, so your next um, the step is pretty much, um, since these um, mirrors, they do have the reverse um, lights in them as well, um, what you're going to have to do, and this is what I did, um, I ran the wires in the door panel through um, the door harness, and I ran um, the reverse wire to the back of the truck along the frame rail, along with power and ground um, for my clearance lights. So what I did was I ran them through the door harness, uh, I ran them in the door, uh, uh, underneath the truck, and then where I brought them out is uh, right along the frame rail, I ran them all the way to the back and I was able to tap in um, to the electrical harness that powers um, the tail lights. Um, so for the turn signal bulb, I had to go a different route. I ended up running that to the front headlight housing. Um, now you can't run it exactly straight um, to the turn signal. There is no wire for the turn signal bulb. Um, um, the turn signal bulb is uh, inside the headlight housing and there is just the one main wire harness um, for the headlight housing. So what you guys are going to have to do is you guys are going to have to look at a wiring diagram or I can tell you right now um, when you take off the main headlight plug. Um, when you're looking at it the proper way with the clip up um, from the right side it's two pins in and that's where your power for your turn signal wire is going to go. So you're going to need um, to run those individually um, on the on the front end of the truck for both mirrors. So another thing is with installing these mirrors, um, the way I did it was ran the wires just the same as I did on the driver's side. Now when I ran the passenger wires, what I did is I brought them in uh, the door harness the exact same way and uh, 
what I did was I ran them underneath the dash. I made them real nice and neat, zip tied them all together. So I had a really, uh, I made my own like harness. And then what I did was I ran them, uh, you know, underneath the dash uh, through the back of the center console and I brought them over to the driver's side. And then underneath the driver's side, um, of the dash there where the wires came in um, on the driver's side um, through the door harness. Um, I tapped in some of those wires there um, because I'm not going to need to run two separate grounds, um, you know, two separate powers for clearance lights and two separate wires for the reverse lights. I don't need all of that. I only needed the one wire. Um, the, the thing is where you need to run two individual wires is for your front, um, uh, turn signals your left and right turn signals um, because they're getting uh, they're obviously getting signal and power um, at a different time um, So that's really the only uh, the only thing I did uh, I did differently from one side to the other um, Pretty pretty simple process. Um, I know there isn't a whole lot of videos um, like this on the internet um, As to where you can do something like that um, especially with uh, with these trucks here um, you know, I, I know there's people that make wiring harnesses and and stuff like that and um, You know, I, I don't really know what the options are um, If your truck doesn't have the power for it um, inside the inside the door um, I I would just I would just imagine people people just don't do it at all um, So so this is obviously um, it's gonna make it a lot easier for a lot of people that to be able to uh, you know do this upgrade and modification um, to their truck um, you know with with having uh, you know the instructions um like this so it is fairly simple um you know it's something that you can knock out in a couple hours um i will put everything in the description below that you guys are going to need i'll put the you know i'll put the name of the the resistors the amp um the the one amp diode and i will uh, also put a link down below um in the link down below i will include um where to go and get exactly um, the mirrors from eBay. Um, the person I got them from, um, you know, they're very solid mirrors um, and no problems whatsoever. And, uh, you know, I'm happy with them so far. They've been on the truck for maybe about two weeks now. And uh, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with them. Uh, you know, no issues whatsoever. Um, so I, uh, I strongly suggest if you guys are going to end up purchasing these, um, that you guys uh, use that link down below and you, uh, and you grab them from them. But enough talking guys, we're gonna take you guys outside and I'm gonna show you guys um, what the mirrors are functioning like now. Um, and you guys can see sort of all the functions um, that all the mirrors have and you can see how they, uh, all, how they all work. This is the mirror um, here. Yes, I did go ahead and I ended up actually plastic dipping um, this mirror and it turned out really, really well. I mean, I haven't used plastic dip in probably about nine, nine years now. And I thought that I would give it a whirl, um, give it a shot. And uh, they came out with this stuff, it's called Glossifier. Um, I did probably at least four to five coats of the white and I probably did three to four coats of the, of the Glossifier on top. And uh, it gave it a, it gave it a pretty good shine. Obviously, not as uh, high a shine as you would get from uh, you know a 2K clear, um, but uh, you know for something that's peelable, um, you know I think you guys, if you guys ever were to try this, you guys would be more than happy. So yes, this is what the clearance light um, is looking like now, and uh, then this is what happens. Um, when you have your uh, turn signal on so that's exactly what you guys are gonna get if you were to buy this truck um, From factory, that's exactly how it would look well, 100 percent and then once you come to the back here um, You do have the turn signal on the glass and same um, With this side as well. You got the turn signal on the glass. Well, another thing is we also got these uh, So these are the reverse um, lights that I was talking about before um, so let me show you guys. As soon as you throw the truck in reverse, they do come on and uh, it does put out quite a fair bit um, of light at night. I do see some of the light on the ground, especially it also lights up um, the entire side of my truck here. So it definitely has a very high output um, for the light and it is pretty bright. Um, it does shine and light up my entire side of my truck here, um, along with a little bit of the ground, you know, stuff like that. It, it's good when you're, you know, backing up the curbs and stuff like that, especially when you got, when you got dark tin, you don't want to, when you don't want to roll the window down. And as for um, the wiring, when I ran the wiring in, like I said, I just came through the door harness here. Um, I fed it in and I came out um, under here 
and when I ran the passenger side, I ran it underneath here, took it up real nice. Um, I made my connections um, under here, and then I went um, through the firewall, and then after I went through the firewall, I ran my two wires to the front underneath the hood um, for signals, and then my other wires. There is a factory harness that runs right along here with all these little plastic clips. And then all you have to do is, um, you could just, you know, either feed through the plastic clips or open them up. Um, and uh, what you could do is you could tuck your wires in there and they're, uh, they're nice and sealed um, from the elements. And then you have absolutely uh, nothing to worry about. Yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for, uh, for this video. You know, it's definitely a shorter video. I mean, I did have all that extra footage and uh, you know, I, I videoed the whole thing, but I lost bits and pieces of it. And when I tried to actually piece the video together, um, you know, it, it wasn't gonna go right. And obviously um, I can't recreate um, taking apart these mirrors and uh, doing everything over again. Um, so, you know, hopefully based on the explanation um, that I gave you guys, uh, you guys should be able to do that. Um, uh, you know, with these, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, once everything's pretty much laid out to you, the hardest part um, is really just understanding how to use um, the resistors and the diode. And then once you guys got that down pat, um, you know, once you do the one side, you can fly through the other. And um, that's pretty much it. This is basically, you know, what the truck looks. I mean, I just, I love the actual, uh, I like how I did the plastic, uh, you know, sort of paint match on it. I think it looks really, really sharp and brought it, uh, and brought it together. And, uh, you know, if I ever want to go back to the chrome or if I wanted to trade it in and try to make a chrome up something like that, you know, I could peel it off in probably about five minutes. Um, but yeah, so as soon as you hit the unlock, um, you know, it flashes, you got your turn signal um, there and uh, the, the the backup lights also come on um, when you hit the unlock button uh, if it was if it was uh if it was more dark outside and you did hit the unlock all the parking lights would stay on and this clearance light would run and the backup light would run um, as well so when you unlock it at night and you're walking up to it it actually illuminates the whole side of the truck and it makes it uh makes it really nice so um that way as you walk up you can see everything on the ground that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys are going to be able to do um you know something like this on uh, on your truck and be able to put um these mirrors on i know many people have mentioned to me um you know you know, even lately or over the last couple of years, because this body style has been out since 2014. Um, there's like, oh, I want to do tow mirrors. I heard you did them before on a truck, and you made them, uh, you made them dual function and uh, dual function where it's like, you know, clearance and running lamp. And uh, you know, a lot of people just, you know, they can't afford um, to buy the higher end mirrors. Uh, but that doesn't mean that they don't want to, uh, you know, customize their truck. Um, so this pretty much gives them the ability um, to do so. And it gives them that uh, that fully finished um, OEM look like I have achieved here. Um, so thank you very much, guys, um, for tuning in. Um, I appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys want to see more content, uh, be sure to hit subscribe. Guys, come back, um, watch some more videos that I have coming. Next video I have, uh, I got something. Out, I got something else uh, that I'm going to be doing on this truck. It's going to be sort of. Uh, um Actually, I don't know 100% what the next video for that truck is going to be. Um, there's a couple of videos coming, so uh, I can't really tell you if it's a review or if it's an install because I don't know what's going to be here next. So uh, with that being said, guys, um, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.